What do you think the last thing is? Okay, it's one of everybody's favorite. If you guess the bass, you're right. What's a beat without bass and a tight bass line or 808 making the hair on your arm stand up? You got to have the bass, man. Simply put, bass is so important in music and necessary on a beat because it bridges the gap between the sample melody and percussions. So we just mentioned that first, the melody and the percussions. And it provides a rhythm and a harmonic function at the same time. So in other words, the bass is like flour to a chef that's baking a cake. Or it's like a mechanic putting all in the motor. It's like the frame to a house. It's putting everything together. Without it, your track won't sound complete. Now, there are some beats that only use drums and melodies, which is rare. That's rare. But to produce a beat without using a bass line or 808 is almost unthinkable. It can be done. But in most songs, you're going to have a bass. I'm not sure if that's a great idea to leave out the bass, the 808 or the bass line. Now, depending on if you know how to play the keys or not, or the bass, you know, be able to play the keys through the bass because, you know, you can have a MIDI controller and you can sample different basses. That will, it may take you a while to figure out a bass line, you know, on the keyboard. And then if you have an MPC, you can tone your bass on 808 on the MPC. Okay, depending on which MPC you have. Again, play what sounds good to you. Use different sounding 808s and different bass samples and go for what you know. Don't rush the beat. Get in the groove and you will make it happen. You got this.